Are you a Christian who knows about proper diet and exercise, but have problems doing what you know is right? I know the feeling. Back in 2003, I weighed 240 pounds and was a size 22. For many years, I had been a registered nurse. I read all the diet books. I knew how to eat healthy and exercise. My problem was not being able to make myself do what I knew was right. This was a spiritual and emotional issue. So if you are a Christian and want to lose weight, here are five skills you will need to master. Number one, using the power of prayer. You may have felt defeated so many times in your weight loss effort. You may feel you don't have the strength to fight anymore. But God's strength never runs out. So you need His. You also need to seek Him for wisdom to show you stumbling blocks in your life that cause you to practice unhealthy habits and ways to combat them. God promises in James chapter 1 verse 5, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Number 2. Using the Power of Praise when I weighed 240 pounds, I felt as if I had the weight of the world on my shoulders. Now, after maintaining my weight loss for several years, I know why. A psychiatrist once said that people who are dealing with neurotic disorders, such as depression or anxiety, almost always have a habit of fault finding either with themselves or other people. To combat that, remember God's promise in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Set aside time in your day to listen to your favorite upbeat praise songs. Sing praises to the Lord and give him thanks as you go about your day. I believe you must learn how to lift weight off your spirit before you can release it off your body. Number three, Use the weapon of worship. Worship is your expression of God in reverence and adoration. Loving Father, Just Judge, and Righteous King are just a few of the character traits for which we worship God. We worship God in recognition that we serve one who is higher than ourselves. Many people eat to excess because they are trying to use food to fill a God-shaped space within them. It becomes a form of idolatry, a way to self-medicate so they don't have to notice that space. Number four, use the weapon of God's word. On your weight loss journey, you will need to learn how to dismantle any thinking that is contrary to God's word in your mind. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 gives you the key to change. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. When you become a disciple of Jesus, your spirit is renewed, but your mind isn't renewed automatically. 
divine renewal requires daily action. Your destiny is to operate according to the mind of Christ, and part of that is studying, meditating upon, and applying God's Word. Number five, manage your social and environmental influence. You can have the best intentions to lose weight, but your social and environmental influences play a great part in your health habits. To succeed, don't make it easy for yourself to practice poor health habits, nor practice them to fit in with what others are doing. The Bible warns about the power of wrong influences around you. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. Romans chapter 13, verse 14. Remember, weight loss is a spiritual and emotional issue in addition to the physical aspect. So if you are a Christian and want to lose weight, master these five skills and you will increase your chances of success. If you want to grow spiritually, heal emotionally, and lose weight with support from other Christians doing the same, visit us at TakeBackYourTemple.com.